Now just imagine you're flying in your 737 over the Canadian wilderness. You're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And when I say in the middle of nowhere, I mean in the middle of nowhere. This is very much in the middle of nowhere. But then suddenly, your engines fail or something. Very realistic scenario, especially with this Thomas Cook livery. But that is another story. We now have lost our engines, kind of. What are we gonna do? Now obviously we're going to have to... Obviously we have to suffocate the fire to put it out and we have lost our engines that is quite unfortunate i would say but the problem is well you have a plane you need to land somewhere and our solution is down here this is pretty much the only asphalt runway in the next 100 nautical mile radius so yeah let's land on this small runway with the 737 now this airport is just like many other airports in the canadian mountains as you can see we have a short asphalt runway it does not look like a very very comfortable place to fly in, even though it seems like a pretty fun place to fly in. And in general, I think the landscape here is pretty beautiful, right? Kind of like it. But yeah, again, this is not a long runway. Is it long enough for the 737 to do an emergency landing? Let's find out. Now, this town is called Bella Coola Airport. Now, this town is called Bella Coola. Kind of has an Italian touch to it, like to the name. But this airport is not Italian in any way. Yeah, we just have a few houses here and a road, and that's it. So yeah, let's try landing our broken 737 here. Now, our main issue that we are going to be having is that we won't have any reverse thrusters. Obviously, since the engines are not even alive, which definitely is a problem. Now, one of the biggest issues that we are about to run into is that obviously, since we do not have engines, we will not have any reverse thrusters either. Yeah, we can only use the brakes that our normal landing gear provides, making stopping on this short runway even harder than it already is. So let's see, we might be lucky, but yeah. Okay, that was a landing, definitely. That was actually not too bad, especially for such a small runway. Oh, we're actually stopping quite quickly. We might genuinely make it. Yeah, I think this video doesn't make any sense. We actually made it. And I forgot to turn the engines off, but I didn't really use them, so let's just ignore that. Okay, now we have this uh, genuine... Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that was technically an overrun, kind of a crash, actually. But we survived. The airplane is not broken. And this pickup truck can definitely pick us up now, right? Do you not want to do that? Or... Okay, I think the 737 might genuinely still be too small for this small airport. You know, I want a real challenge. Again, I didn't use any reverse thrusters. That was actually not the worst landing. You know, Reiner has done worse landings, definitely. So we can try a bigger plane, right? Well, now, this is the 777, which is a lot bigger than the 737, obviously. Now, let's try landing this plane without thrust reversers. Just like you would when you would do an emergency landing. By the way, just getting to the airport without engines is the real challenge of this whole thing, but we're not gonna do that. You know, at this airport, even stopping at all is kind of a challenge. I think you'd be better off just landing on this river or something. Actually, I think that's the worst idea, but I mean, what else can you do? The runway might still be the better option. Yeah, this was kind of a hard one, I can say. But as long as we stop, which is a lot more important. And again, this is looking quite good, right? Not looking like a very good landing, but we are genuinely stopping. Yeah, this video might just be a little bit disappointing. <laughs> okay. Again, no crash. Yeah, you can pretty much say that this airport is very much suitable for these big planes. Very good, <laughs> right? Oh, that landing was not very much approved, though. <laughs> that was really not good. I kind of apologize. You know, if we would overrun, we would have this wall stopping us, kind of. I mean, I cannot tell if it's better than falling into this river, but, you know. Let's try an even bigger plane. I mean, the 747 is also an option, right? Well, it turns out that reverse thrusters actually do not make that much difference. Yeah, the use of reverse thrusters is so that the brakes on the landing gear is not too overstressed. It's basically just a little help for the landing gear. Yeah, using reverse thrusters is not that important on landing. Let's see if it's important on the 747. I think it might be. Actually, this is quite a short runway, which is why this whole thing is a bit surprising to me. This is like a 1,200 meter runway. Now let's set the engines on fire for the visuals so that it looks more epic. Let's also not put out the fire with the extinguishers because that looks kind of cool, right? I don't know. Yeah, this fire alarm is a bit disturbing, but yeah. Okay, there we go. We're coming in. Oh, that was perfect on touchdown zone. Let's try stopping. Okay, there we go. It might work, right? Or it might not. 
Oh no. Oh, this is not looking good. Yeah, this whole thing kind of ends with the 747. I can say that was not a good landing. Yeah, maybe this airport is not 747 approved. Actually, in order for a plane to officially be able to land on a runway, it has to stop without having to use reverse thrusters. So for example, if an aircraft manufacturer has to test how much of a runway their new airplane needs, they do a test landing without reverse thrusters and see how fast the plane stops. And that's how they see how much runway the plane needs. Now that was not a successful one. Let's try the A380 for the sakes of it. Now we'll come aboard the A380. Let's try landing this plane here. You know what? Let's actually try using reverse thrusters this time around. We might have a better chance at surviving that way. Let's see. Maybe we are lucky. Definitely a hard one, but maybe it is a successful one. You know, this time around we have reverse thrusters, so our chances are even better. Or probably not. No, probably not. Yeah. The wall might actually stop us, right? Or not? Okay. Well, this landing was kind of solely approved. We ended up in the river. Now, that was not my proudest landing I have done. Okay. Yeah, definitely not. It was not successful either, even though we used reverse thrusters. Now, the conclusion of this all is that you can definitely operate a 777 here. The question is, why would you? But that is another story. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.